In both the book and the movie, Fade relies on poison during his fights, suggesting a potential lack of true fighting skill. It's plausible that his reputation as a formidable combatant is inflated by the use of poison and the propaganda spread by the Baron Harkonnen. But fighting isn't an innate ability, it's a skill honed through relentless practice. Both Fade and Paul have undergone extensive training, likely dedicating significant portions of their lives to it. They share similar physical attributes and motivations, making them evenly matched combatants. This parody is intentional on Frank Herbert's part, heightening the tension of their confrontation. Fade serves as a dark mirror to Paul, a common theme in stories of the Chosen One. While Paul is the protagonist, the focus of the first book lies in the intergenerational struggle between Duke and the Baron. Fade represents what the Baron was to the Duke, a formidable opponent destined to be overcome by a morally superior hero. Overcoming this internal conflict becomes the ultimate test for the hero. The weaknesses of the Harkonnens and the strengths of the Otre Des are not what they initially seem. The Baron's victory over Duke isn't due to his vices, just as Fade's defeat isn't a result of cheating or laziness. It's all part of the golden path, which Paul, as the Quisitz Hatterich, can foresee. Dune transcends a simple narrative of hard work leading to success. It's an adaptation of the hero's journey, defending the divine right of rulers like Paul to govern without democratic constraints. Paul's supremacy is intrinsic to his identity, reflecting the authority of the state. Hence, Fade's formidable presence serves to reinforce Paul's legitimacy and power.